Hi, this is Sankar Sharma. In this video, I'm going to talk about PLTR, which is Palantir. Palantir has jumped up 23.47% today. Should you buy this stock? If you're in this stock, should you hold? What are the key levels to watch out for? Is it too expensive now? Is it too cheap? Let's discuss all that in this video. Welcome back. I'm going to share in this video all about Palantir. Palantir jumped up 23.47% today. Now, two things happened. Palantir's quarter three earnings were robust. And also, it gave uplifting revenue guidance for the next quarter. So what does Palantir do? Palantir does data analytics software and their AI-enabled data analyst software is now taking off. So we're going to look into all the details about Palantir, who they supply, what sort of revenues they've been getting, and in terms of value analysis, whether it's cheap or expensive, and in terms of technical analysis, what is the chart telling us, where's the best place to enter if you're not in the stock, if you're in the stock, what should you watch out for next few days, weeks, and months? And is there a sell coming soon? Let's discuss all that in greater detail. Let me take you to the charts. Before we go to the charts, I want to first dig in to the financials, show you something very interesting. If you look at these bars, one thing you know right away is the free cash flow, free cash flow has been increasing and cash and cash equivalents are also improving since Q1. If you think of Q3, it has slightly, you know, better, it was in a better position, but it is interesting now it's recovering for 2024 and is doing very good with regards to free cash flow and cash and cash equivalents. But as we look at the quarterly performance, revenues are quite good, margins it's quite good as well, 19.78%. Let us jump in and analyze financial data. If you go and look at the source of the business, you can see the government component is about 54.93% and the rest of it comes from commercial. So it is dependent heavily on government. If you look at it in terms of where all is operating in the world, you can see 61.94, approximately 62% is coming from United States and about 10.57 from United Kingdom. Rest is coming from rest of the world. It doesn't pay any dividends, it's worth noting. Next, let's go and check the revenue. You can see again, the government is the bigger contributor than commercial, and you can also see the contribution of them in the, like visually. Uh, if you go to earnings, you can see the quarterly earnings has been improving and the revenues have been improving steadily. So you can see the surprise has always been positive, which is excellent. Now let's go and look at other statistics. If you look at other statistics, you can see P ratio is 186. Normally for a growth stock like Palantir, the PE will be very high. So we'll come back to the ratios in a minute and see from value analysis perspective, is it cheap or is it expensive? First of all, Palantir is operating at 100 times its future earnings. That makes it very expensive. If you look at uh, price to book ratio, that is above its five year average. So that makes it expensive. And P ratio is also very expensive. So overall, from value perspective, it is expensive and gross margins are quite good, net margins are good, but Value analysis perspective, this makes this, uh, this particular stock very expensive for you to consider buying because value analysis says 
and buy a stock when it's cheap, sell a stock when it's expensive. So from that perspective, it is little expensive. Now, if you want to know exactly if you're holding this stock when to sell, we will talk about that in the chart discussion shortly. So if you're thinking of getting into it from value analysis perspective, this is expensive. So we may want to reconsider. And exactly when you should enter, we'll talk about it when we go to the charts. Now, if you look at the cash flow side of things, you can see free cash flows have been improving uh, nearly four times approximately. That is very good. If you look at balance sheet, and if you look at uh, total equity, that has been improving consistently, which is excellent news. And if you look at the book value, book value is also improving, but it is expensive. Income statement, if you see, pre-tax income is also improving. So company looks healthy, uh, cash is improving cash situation. But from value analysis point of view, with 100 times future cash flow, and with its high expensive PE ratio and the price to book, it looks like value analysis perspective, it's expensive, not cheap. Now let's go and check the chart to see what the chart is telling us. If you look at this chart, this is Palantir chart, is a weekly chart of Palantir. Now I got multiple arrows drawn here. Let me explain each one. Each one is for a different type of person, person who's not God, person who's not into this stock, person who's holding this stock, et cetera. Let me give the breakdown. If you're already in this stock, well done. As long as the stock, as long as the stock remains above this green trend zone, you can stay in this stock. If it breaks below this, then you may have to consider your decision. Otherwise, you can continue holding. If you want to get into this stock, there are two places you can get in. If you want to be a conservative investor who want to enter this stock at a conservative place, or a value investor who's looking for, you know, enter this stock when it becomes cheap, that price will be around 35, 61 noted by this arrow. Okay. If you're a value investor, or if you want to be conservatively, you are looking for a conservative entry, 35 range, 35 to 36 range is your, your area of entry. On the contrary, if you are still looking for aggressive entry, 44 to $46 could be a good place. But if you're already holding this stock, as long as it doesn't break this trend zone noted by this angle line, you stay in this stock. Hopefully I'll answer all those questions. And uh, if you want to add to this position, you can add it on a pullback around 44, 46 range. Currently, from value in, uh, investor point of view, it's very expensive. If they continue delivering these results, a longer term perspective, two to three years, you can see it going to higher levels like 68 is possible. But you've got to find the best entries. At the moment, it's expensive, as I said. So this is not a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. You can take this analysis and do your own research further on this and decide your uh, best entry and exits. That suits your circumstances. I don't know your circumstances, so I can't suggest or recommend. So you need to look at it on top of the analysis I'm summarizing here for you. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and love, like, leave a positive comment. I'll see you in the next video. This is Sankar Sharma signing off. Bye for now.